As triathletes, we spend a lot of our time trying to get fit. But I see a lot of people, whilst they're trying to get fit, taking their life into their hands. That doesn't make sense to me. Let's just discuss that a bit and perhaps see what you might be able to do about it. Hi, this is me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com and yes, I'm going to have a bit of a rant today because there's something I cannot understand and that's seeing lots of people out on the road running and cycling but at the same time as they're getting fit, they're taking their life into their hands. They could be seriously injured or worse, they could be killed and they don't seem to care. They want to get fit but they don't care if they die doesn't make sense to me. So what are we talking about? Well, you may have guessed it already. I'm talking about people wearing headphones whilst they're running or cycling, especially when they're cycling. When you're running, looking around you is not that difficult. When you're cycling, not hearing a car come up behind you can be instant death. A lot of people think they can survive a crash with a car. Me, I'm happy to avoid it. And if I can avoid it by doing anything possible, I certainly will. And I'd have thought you would be the same, but some people seem totally reckless on their bikes. There's two things they do that really annoy me. Firstly, they've got headphones in. We'll just explain that. Secondly, they go through red lights. Why do you bother doing that? It's dangerous and it annoys other road users so that they become reckless around cyclists. Their view is they're not taking into account the laws of the road, so why should I when I'm around them? You're endangering my life by endangering your life. Please don't do that. It really annoys me too when I see car drivers on their mobile phone. There's absolutely no reason to take a call while you're driving unless you have a hands-free. And if you can't afford a hands-free, that phone call simply cannot be that important because it's not even worth the £50 or so that it would cost for you to invest in a hands-free system. Anyway, what I'm going to show you today can actually cure that problem both in the car and on the bicycle. It can't stop you going through a red light. I'm just hoping you will stop that because it's just so stupid. But it will enable you to hear traffic but still either listen to the radio or listen to mu your music as you go along. And they're called Aftershocks headphones and these are them. I actually got these after seeing them at the last year's triathlon show uh, which is at the XL this year. Um, last year's triathlon show these were demonstrated and I thought they were just a brilliant idea so I bought a pair for myself and a pair for my wife and this is how they come. Literally what you get is this. If there's an extension lead, I really don't know why you need one of those but they supply it. There's a USB cable which is how the aftershocks are actually charged on a rechargeable battery and there's the aftershocks themselves with a control device. The aftershocks work by transmitting sound through the bone in front of your ear as opposed to being in your, the ear themselves. So they fit round your head and as you can see they're not in my ears at all. They transmit sound through the bone, they actually do actually create a sound themselves, they're not totally silent. Um, and you can plug them into any device you like, so that's my phone and I have music on my phone so I'll be able to listen to anything I like from my phone. You just switch on the device and you can see it's working. And there's two types of aftershock. This one is one that interrupts a phone call if I want it to. So if I press this button, I can actually answer a phone call um, and talk away. And it'll actually just stop the music and continue with the phone call. Which means it's also useful in a car. If I use this in a car and want to listen to my MP3 or iPod or whatever, I can actually hear cars around me and have a conversation with the people in the car if I want. There's no reason anymore to actually have earphones shoved in your ears. 
Another thing I like these for, and why I bought them, is whenever I get sweaty, headphones slip off my ear. It doesn't matter if they're round the ear or in the ear, they just slip off. And these, as you can see, they're quite secure and never slip off. So I can wear these whilst I'm exercising, they stay in the same position and they don't damn well move. So I continue listening, uninterrupted, to everything I want to listen to. And if I'm out on the road and headphones are slipping off, it becomes really annoying. Okay, just below uh, this video there'll be a link to the Aftershocks website where you can buy them. Um, I think they're a fantastic product and I think they really can save lives. And, and it's the, the life-saving element that I'm more impressed with than even the running. Yes, you can hear them outside if you're someone else. So if I have them on, I, would, I wouldn't use these on an aeroplane for example. I don't think they'd be particularly good. You'd have all the ambient sound coming in. Um, but they're exceptionally good in terms of sports uh, headphones and in terms of safety. So please think of your own safety. Don't get hit by a car because you can't hear it. There's absolutely no need to, as so long as you can just afford 40 to 60 pounds. Okay, that's it for this week. Rant over. I'll see you next week. Well,